welcome back to the channel so i have this wig with me and i'm looking a little rough i'm about to put on this wig and this is a wig that i got from um my first wigs this is my second wig ever and if you guys follow us on instagram then you probably already see me post with this wig on so i'm gonna um put it on and show you what i do i already plucked the front of the wig um the wig came pre-plucked but um I don't know since the wig is so dense I just had to pluck it some more just so it could look a little more natural and I attempted to bleach the knots but um every time I bleach knots um the roots end up turning blonde and I don't know why I use 20 volume developer I only keep it on for like five seconds um probably because of how I do it is really sloppy to be honest but what I had to do is I had to go in and like touch up the roots with black dye so yeah that's why I don't really film the process of me plucking my wigs um just because I don't know what I'm doing so um here I have the wig cap that comes with the wig and it also comes with a wig cap and a comb and a brush I showed you guys last time that I did in my first wigs video so I'm just gonna put the wig cap on I'm gonna go through and show you how I kind of like slay it and yeah since my hair is short i don't braid it down or anything i just kind of put my hair in the wig um wig cap and i really just do oh what is this Whew. so yeah i just kind of put it in the wig cap and you don't really have to be neat about this i mean i don't i'm not really neat about this and i just kind of put it in and then i like pull it back a little bit because i find like when the wig is on the top of my hair like when it's like not the wig the wig cap is like at the um peripheral like at the edge i just feel like you can tell that it's like a wig cap underneath i don't know maybe i'm not doing it right but like i said if you guys don't know i'm a beginner i am a beginner this is my second wig ever um it's kind of like looking really ratchet right now because i have been in the process of moving well i actually have moved and um I kind of just threw it around and everything. I didn't really treat it with the best care, but we're gonna try to get it back right. Okay. Ooh. Okay. What is going on? Lord. All right. Uh, okay. Something isn't right. Also, I think the way I cut the wig when I put it on, like when I sized it to my head was wrong too, but it's fine now i forgot if it was this way oh i think let me figure out what's going on why can you see like where it starts and where it begins you weren't able to see that before okay let's try this again and of course you would kind of have to like um what's the word glue it down to your head but i just don't feel like doing that so i'm not gonna put on any glue like i'm not gonna use um got to be glued or any gel I'm, i don't want it to be permanently on my head i just want it to be like a cute little look i say that as i look crazy right now but i just want it to be like a cute little look and i can take it off at night um so bear with me as i try to get it adjusted okay all right come on come on baby hairs I cut out some baby hairs like some little soft pieces in the front so let's, let's bring those out God, oh my gosh this is kind of looking a hot mess I'm not gonna lie I don't I don't know if it's like because the wick you know what let's add some water oh my gosh you see how dense this wig is but if you like really thick hair then you would love this but it's really really dense and as you can see like right here how i cut it i kind of cut it dumb or maybe i didn't maybe it's, that's how you're supposed to cut it and you're just supposed to glue it down but i'm not gonna glue it not glue it but you know use gel or whatever but i'm not gonna do that so i'm just gonna go ahead and like go through the hair and kind of like wet it a little bit and kind of get it how i want it this is why i don't really talk to the camera while i'm doing hair stuff because i really can't multitask and uh this hair all the specs of this hair will be in the description box but um it's tw it was 20 inches but i cut it 
because it was like I'm um, kind of it was like a little too long for me um so yeah okay this yeah let's kind of get this together and I'm just gonna wet it and kind of mold it because now okay now you can see it's starting to take shape a little bit all right we're getting somewhere I promise I got it cute it's just when I turn the camera on, it's not that cute. I should have not made this a talking video. All right. Bring out the baby hairs. All right, we getting somewhere. I don't know if this is looking natural. See, I couldn't like tuck it behind my ear like that. And if this was glued to my, um, if it was glued, like if I push it up and glued it, it'll be really, it'll look really good, but I'm not, not doing that. I want this to be really quick, like, ooh, slip on the wig and go okay this is this is turning into something all right i think we're getting somewhere okay i think i'm gonna get my blow dryer and just kind of blow dry it a little bit so it um doesn't look soaking wet i still want that wet look but um i don't want it to look like i just took a shower Ooh. all right okay this is kind of looking cute again i promise i got this cute the other day all right this part is not the best because you can see the um, wig cap, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like it's the biggest of deals. Maybe I'll like take a piece, like, no, that, that made it worse. That made it worse. That's not what I wanted to do. So now I'm gonna take my um, blow dryer and kind of diffuse the hair, a bootleg diffuse. I wonder if I should put this on hot or cold. I'm gonna put it on hot. And as you can see, I didn't even, I'm not even talking about the hair, but as you can see, this is the natural state of the hair. It's a really nice, like, loose curl wave. It's really, really pretty. I like it. I feel like I want more hair over here. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of want to look. Cause I don't want it to look like too like oh wet and like oh perfect. I want it to look kind of like messy and like kind of effortless. Like uh, I woke up like this. I really would like to cut it a little bit, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so not bad for my second wig, guys. This is my second wig ever from my first wigs. My first wig. And it's not bad. Like, I think it looks really, really natural. Like I said, this is the natural state of the hair. I did attempt to bleach the knots, but I don't know if I did or not because um, I had to take it. I saw the roots starting to get blonde. So I had to wash out the bleach like five seconds after I had put it on. And I did, like I said, I did pluck a lot of the front. And there's no real rhyme or reason to how I pluck the front. Basically, I just kind of like randomly pluck the front. Then I would like part the hair and then go back and pluck the front. There's a ton of videos on YouTube on how to do it. I'm not an expert, like I said. So I had to look and see how I did it. It did take a while to pluck the hair. Um, so what I did was like over a course of a couple of days, like I would pluck some and then I would like get back to it and then do my own thing and come back and pluck it. Then like the next day go to work come back then pluck it then all that stuff and um after like a couple of days of doing that it wasn't that bad it was a slow process and then as soon as i got it to how i want it or how i thought it looks a little more natural then i stopped i like this i don't know if i'm feeling like how i did my hair i could have it all tough back as you can see this is my edge this, this piece is my edge i think this piece is my edge but if i get really really close like you can actually see where it starts but from like here it's fine from the untrained eye you can't really tell um i don't know if i'm gonna do anything else with it maybe i'll come back when it's um a little more dry so you can see how it looks when it's dry and uh yeah